morning everybody happy mindful monday uh, welcome to a very foggy it seems not we're used to so um but still it's a new week it's a new monday and we're ready for um moving forward into october so tomorrow marks um the first day of autumn so today we're going to be talking about autumn and doing a meditation on autumn and moving forward so people to come in live here this morning and join us for this meditation and um, whilst we're doing that we can just be relaxing and breathing so connect with your breath like we always do um, listening to the own rise and fall of your body and relaxing and accepting and just breathing lightly just your own breath not changing it for anybody just relaxing and being still so say we just give people a few moments to come in so we just relax and enjoy our own space and our own breath good morning to all those that can join us live this morning and welcome and for those that are going to watch this back later on when you've got more time during your busy day it would be great to connect with you later on of course you can play this over and over as many times as you want and please use the meditation at whatever time of day suits you best so today we're going to talk about autumn because tomorrow is the first day of autumn and I use it as have a clear out um, and this can be a clear out. it can be a little bit like spring really where we're where we're having a good clear out and a good it's really great to use this time of year as we're in out all of our summer stuff and moving forward into the autumn and winter and popping in our winter things is to have a sort through and get rid of anything that um, we didn't wear this year because wear it this year or probably the year before we probably don't need it so pass it on to somebody know that you've loved that item whilst you was wearing it and whilst you had it but let it move on to somebody else and let them enjoy it as well and we can do this with our feelings as well autumn's a great time to really think about moving forward in our lives that maybe have hurt us in the past and life's paths change all of the time so autumn is a really good time to have a clear out of your life and really focus on things that you want to carry forward through to the end of the year and into next year so really spend some time thinking about where you are in your life at the moment what sadnesses you might have in your life at the moment or what goals that you might want to achieve by the end of this year or next or even further afield than that but start welcoming them into your life do this by our letting go meditation that we've done some months back where we pin things onto a cloud and let them float away we can do them by manifesting them and popping them onto our vision boards that we talked about in the last couple of weeks so putting on there things that you would like to attract life and by attracting new things it makes it easier to let go of things that you don't need in your life anymore move them on let them be able to become something in your past and if it's do that and allow yourself to do that so today is all um 
willpower, I suppose, to clear out the things that you no longer use in your house, in your wardrobe, in your life, and have the ability to be able to attract new things and be grateful for what you've already got in your life, which I know most of us are. I'm just about to shut this window a bit because a bit of a breeze coming in. So, what we're going to do today is think firstly about what colours we want to attract in our lives at this time of year. Now, obviously, autumn is the beautiful golden colours, the browns, the rusts, the reds, and they are warming. And when you're feeling like you want to let go of something or make changes in your life, it's really good to have that warm colour you feel that you um, are being hugged and so make sure that you're when you're doing your wardrobe or redecorating or simply just wearing a scarf or buying a new handbag or a new jumper make sure that you are buying something that's warm but glowing so that can be sort of like rust colors um, Eggs, yellows, um, sort of yellow ochre, ochre colours. Um, try to avoid the really browns or the insipid um, beiges. And if you do decide to buy those, brighten it up with an so that you can feel like you're being hugged and helped through this stage of letting go of some of these things that we've held on to um, in our lives, in our wardrobes, in our lives. So today we're going to do a meditation to help us do that and it's a guided meditation that I am trying to do with you all now that we've moved forward and we've been doing this for some months. I hope you're being able to follow along with them. But firstly I just wanted to um, book that I know that um, I've used and shown you quite a few times and this is all about autumn and letting go and I popped um, that you may have already seen about looking at the bigger picture the wider picture so um, and that's really important especially at this time of year when we might be wanting to let go of things really think about it don't just automatically throw things out actually really think about things is this the right time is this the time to see the bigger picture and be able to move forward with things so I just wanted to read this because this sort of sort of um, goes along with that as well. If you sit on the bank of a river, you see only part of its surface, and yet the water before your eyes is proof of acknowledgeable depths. If you look at a sunset, you might see only the disappearance of daylight. If you look beneath, you may see darkness opening the splendor of stars. If you look at illness and disease, you might see only physical diminishment. Sorry, I could hear my dog coming up and I know she's gonna bark at the postman any minute. So if you look at illness and disease, you might see only physical diminishment. If you look beneath, you may see it as a teacher bringing your vital wisdom. If you look at broken relationships, you might see only a harsh ending. If you look beneath, you may see that you're crea courageous and the seeds of new growth. If you look at lost dreams, you might see only disappointment and doubt. If you look beneath, you may see the stuff that new dreams contain. If you look at death of a loved one, you might see only sorrow. If you look beneath, you may see the love that, li that lives forever in your heart. If you look at the planet's pain and the creature's woe, you might see only despair. If you look beneath, you may see hope woven in compassionate care of many. If you look at yourself, you might see only tarnished unfinishments. If you look beneath, you may see your basic goodness shining there. If you look for the divine, you might see mostly unsolved questions. If you look beneath, you may be astonished 
at the availability of divine love. And this is all sort of ties in with the fact of look at the bigger picture. Don't just see what's on the surface of that water. Look beyond that, look deeper. Clear out of our minds and our lives. We need to look deeply first before we actually take that jump. Right, let's get into our meditation. So this morning, this one's called just autumn meditation. So if we just relax our bodies, breaths like we do every week let's clear our minds from all the busyness of our day and relax into our bodies feeling the rise and fall of our chest as we breathe and if you hear any outside noise just accept and return not changing it just the natural flow of your body and just breathe and relax See yourself in the middle of a beautiful forest full of tall trees. Realize a dampness in the air that tells you autumn is nearing and the colder days are upon us time just to stand amongst the trees and look around feeling a small breeze as the trees sway in the air what colors do you see at this time of year what do you hear Walk between the trees, notice their leaves are beginning to fall and underfoot you feel and hear the sounds of the leaves crunching as you kick some up in front of you allowing a natural path to emerge and notice the smell that comes from this action. The smell of wet leaves that are past thy sell by date. Nature is telling us it's time to welcome in the new. And just breathe and relax, allowing your shoulders to sink towards the ground. Relaxing your tummy and your chest, and your buttocks and your legs. Take some time to look up into the trees and see the leaves falling from the ends of the branches. Join in the and adding the carpet below. See how the sun is making its dappled way through the trees and lighting up parts of the forest. A magical wonderland of reds oranges, rusts, yellows and golds. Really take some time to embrace the beauty and stillness as again just breathe the rise and fall of our chest and of our natural breath and just breathe and relax. Autumn marks the time for nature to shed its summer, letting go of its summer fruits, its leaves and its fresh greens. 
dusting itself down and making its way for a crisp winter ahead, preparing and making way for the end of another year and opening up to the new one ahead. It is time to let go, to clear out and to welcome in. As we breathe, just think, what can I let go of at this time? And think, what can you welcome into your life? As we just breathe, think of those questions. What can I let go of at this time? And what can you welcome in? Allow these thoughts to enter your mind. You just gently breathe and allow your body to move to its natural rhythm. Realising it's time to let go of certain things, to allow them to move on to newer pastures. And welcome in the new, the things that you want to attract to your life new beginnings that you are ready for, things that you want to manifest and pop up on your vision board. Just breathe and relax and your body, allowing your mind to accept it's time to let go and it's time to welcome in. As you breathe and accept the time for changes now, take one last look around the forest. The trees are at their most beautiful. They look content and accepting. Look within you and examine how you can feel contentment and acceptance of change. What needs to fall to the ground to be cleared out? What needs to be kicked to the edge of your life path? How is your mind you? It's time to welcome in the new. To return to our bodies, to our right rooms, realise how far we have come on our life and see our natural path of progression ahead, allowing us to let go and make changes and welcome in the autumn of our life and all the exciting things. 
we move towards the end of the year and a set a new year is on the horizon. As we just breathe and relax moments. Really relax our shoulders down towards the ground, allowing our tummies to be soft. As we see a warm glow entering our tummy area through the solar plexus, a warm glow of yellow, of orange. and giving us strength forward and let go of the past and let go of material things we no longer need allow the warm glow to sit in our tummies for a few moments as we just breathe and relax leaves your solar plexus and moves down our legs towards the ground our body through our toes and grounding our feet as it splays out us moving down towards the centre of the earth grounding us and leaving us accepting as we just breathe. Very gradually take three more breaths. And wriggle our fingers and our toes. And bring your awareness back into your room. There we are. Well, I hope you managed to follow along today with that mindful autumn letting go experience. And of course, if you didn't manage to follow along with me live this morning, you can always watch this back a bit later when you have the time or when you want to um, relax and get ready to go to sleep. It's a really good time. So it's been really great. So have a lovely day enjoy some of the mindful tips and posts that we've got going on later today and also don't forget lovely margaret holvax here at two o'clock with her um, little uh, tips on her oils just a few things i wanted to mention this morning as well that we've got coming up we have been inundated with people wanting to come along on our walks so we've made the decision to make to do three short walks on the island um, they will be in small pods of six people which will be five members and one member of staff
and everybody that's made a um, comment or phoned me or emailed me about wanting to come will be contacted within the next two days to let them know what date they've been assigned and to give them the options for after the walk. So I look forward to speaking to all of you there. We will also be doing one walk over in Sittingbourne and also a walk at Tenham. We've had to split that because of the new government guidelines. We can only do them in smaller groups because of the meeting afterwards. So um, I will be contacting the Sittingbourne and Tenham people as soon as we have a date for those walks, but they are coming soon. We also have some examples about a, a workshop we will be doing with Margaret coming um, we hope to have those details by Friday so um, hopefully a lot of you will want to get involved in that as well what we're trying to do is just sort of change it up a little bit to try to include some of the people that aren't on the in a little way of course we will have the newsletter coming up towards the end of the month and our book um, our book review with um, Bev will be on the last Tuesday of the month so I hope you're all enjoying the read of this month um, again on the, for the rest of the week we have the usual group of people we've got Cheryl with her let's cook tomorrow we've got Alicia zoom on Tuesday on Wednesday morning sorry and we've got a yoga with Jackie in the afternoon on Thursday we've got mixed gardening which we hope the video will upload this week I know he had trouble last week I think it's just where everybody's using the internet more often at the moment and then on Friday we the bits and pieces that you've been sending me in this week have been fantastic to share with other members so have a fantastic week don't forget get in those wardrobes have a little sort through get out your autumn colors and embrace the autumn and change and let go of things in our minds in our lives that we no longer embrace the bigger picture so look forward to speaking to you soon. If you've got any inquiries, you know we're always here on Facebook and I'm always available at the end of the phone. So you can always welcome to give me a call. It's 07825 630 108. Look forward to speaking to you all soon.